hey, I've got a bunch of points here that I want to color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a property that Bifrost will understand, but it's not shown here on the watch point at all. So I'm going to use a set geo property node. Spell it like this, color, plug this in, make sure I set my data type to float3 for both these ports. And now if I create a value node, and let's say I want to make them red, we see nothing happening. And that is because there is a little display problem sometimes happening. I don't know when it happens and when it doesn't. But when you've done the right thing, you don't see anything changing the viewport. The thing to try is this. Just add the output again, and then you usually you can cut the first one. But if I were to delete this one, this port, it would probably go back to uh, not being red. So I'm going to keep it as it is. But now I've colored every point red, but maybe I want to color a uh, different color per point. So you basically just have to create your own array. And uh, I'm just going to go with a random value per point. So, so I'm going to use the point count to define the size of the array. Put this here. Set the offset to a flow 3 for RGB. And um, this is actually giving me values between 0 and 1, random values. And that is what I want. So if I plug this in, you see we got random colors. Now, um, we could also, if we wanted transparency, we could use a vector 4 instead of a vector 3. So we have one more value for the alpha channel. So we could convert this to a vector 4. Set this to 1 for the opacity. If I plug this in, also turn this into a float 4. You get the same display issue. So I'm going to do the same thing again. And we've got colored points now, uh, but we can change the transparency here. Cool. But uh, now, oh, actually, I want to set this back to 1. Now if I render it, it's white. We don't get the color. So there's one more step. We have to actually assign a material and a shader. Um, so I'm going to create a AI standard surface material, call it color shader. I'm going to drag this in here and uh, select it again. For now I'm just going to give it a random color here. If I connect this up now, we can actually see the color being reflected in the viewport, but uh, well, it should show up in the render too. But now we've lost our individual colors, right? So there's one other thing we need to do, and that is to tell it to use that property that we created earlier. So if I add a utility node, called AI user data color. And in here we have to put the name of the property, which is color. And now maybe I should increase the exposure. Now I can see I can render this with color. But I've lost the color in the viewport. So there's one way around this and that would be a terminal instead of using the output. So if I plug the 
assign material into the final. So this is going to be rendered, and then I can use this guy here for the viewport. And again, it's not, it should actually work like that, but it's not showing. So I'm just going to try and do this. Same deal. You just have to make multiple connections and that'll show up. And uh, yeah, so now we've got color in the viewport and the render view and of course I could change my seed here to get a different distribution so the same principle applies to let's say if you want to color the vertices of a mesh so if I had the sphere just going to hide it in the viewport for the moment and then I use the sphere instead of the scattered points so plug this here and this here now we can see that I've got uh, the vertices of the sphere colored and I could also render this so there's a limitation at the moment you can color per vertex but uh, I don't think it's possible to color per polygon or per face at the moment.